Hello and welcome to the HGC or Hardcore Gamers Club. My name is Daniel and this video is going to cover the topic of installing a new hard drive into the PS4. Uh, I put up a couple of videos on what to do if you're getting the installation update and I touched on the topic of the possibility of the hard drive being bad, although that's not the only cause for getting that installation update. Uh, if you scan the drive as prescribed and you wound up with errors and you need to replace the hard drive. You can use any 500 gig drive or larger that you want to use in it, but you do need to format it and get it cleaned up and ready to be installed in order to use that USB in order to use that hard drive. So I'm going to show you how to set up the hard drive in order to install the new hard drive into the system. Now you will need a USB to SATA to, uh, excuse me, a SATA to USB uh, to plug in the hard drive into your computer in order to uh, recognize the drive. Now, most brand spanking new drives are going to come unformatted. So you're going to have to go to your computer, or if you're on Windows 10, it'll say this PC. I got a shortcut on my desktop where I can just right click and select manage. And then in management, I'm going to go to disk management. And there you'll find the unformatted drive. All right, so we're going to make a new simple volume. We're going to select yes. We're going to select next. Uh, it'll tell you what drive. Don't worry about what letter this says. Uh, it's going to be different for every computer depending on how many hard drives you have installed. You just select next. Now, the USB, before I told you to format at FAT32, the hard drive has to be formatted at NTFS, not FAT32. Remember, NTFS. If the volume label says anything other than new volume, retype it in to new volume. You don't want it to say PS4 or anything like that. Leave it at new volume. Then select next and then select finish. It will then format the drive and assign the drive letter automatically. There you go. You're done. Now you can plug the hard drive into the PS4, put the USB that you just created from the other video, and there will be a link at the end of this video to that video as well as some of the other videos covering the topic. Uh, in the form of an in-screen annotation or link uh, that'll take you to them other videos if you need to see them in order to make the USB. So uh, that's basically it. Uh, now like I said when you put in a, a new drive this says 465 gigabytes. Well that's because it's got formatting. It's actually a 500 gig drive but once you're formatted you're only going to about have about 465 gigs so don't freak out if it says 465 instead of 500 <laughs> alright so let me poke a USB in and I'll show you what I mean about the drive letter okay so this is the update I was telling you about uh, when there, let's, I'll do that uh, the USB will also say a new volume and you want it to say new volume but you see how this says G it automatically assigned a letter now if I was to unplug this and this and then re-plug in the USB it would say F and then if I plugged in the 465 gig or 500 gig drive it would automatically say G because it was plugged in secondly alright but uh, whenever you're downloading the update and it says that on the other one it, uh, you, if you read through it, it'll say put your folders on the root file of the USB. Well, when you open this, this whole area is the root. So you put your PS4 file here, put your U update file uh, folder here, and then download the update. If it doesn't say PS4 update, oh, didn't want to open that. If it doesn't say exactly PS4 update dot pup, then rename it so that it says that. Sometimes people will download more than one and they'll actually accidentally have 
a parenthesis one, two, or three, or something like that with another parenthesis, in which case you would have to delete that part and or rename the whole thing so that it looks exactly like it shows on the screen. All right, so let's get back out of that and get back over to this one, one back up more, here we go. This is the newly formatted drive. It's at NTFS, it will be totally blank. At this point, you can disconnect everything. Depending on your computer settings, it might not be a bad idea to go down where it says show hidden icons on the lower right corner of your screen and then select the USB and then just hit eject and it'll say safe to remove. And then if you're doing the USB at the same time, let's get up here. If you're doing the USB at the same time, you can also eject the USB. In this case, it's a cruiser glide eject. So now we can safely unplug both the USBs, one from the converter to the hard drive and one to the USB itself, so that uh, there's no possibility of corruptions. Okay, so that's a quickie uh, just on how to set up the hard drive to be installed into the PS4. Now, if you don't know how to put the hard drive in your PS4, seriously, you need to have somebody else do it because it's one screw, it slides out, you plug, you plug the converter into it. I'll put a link to a uh, USB SATA converter that's nice and cheap that you can buy to do this with, uh, but it, if, if you're not comfortable doing it, I would highly recommend paying somebody else to do it, even if it's a shop. Uh, you know, just saying because you can really mess stuff up if you don't know what you're doing. Stay safe, happy gaming, everybody, and I hope this helped some of you.